Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. We're talking about is this enough? Is this sufficient? All right, we're also talking about a collection agency having multiple addresses on the credit bureaus. Let's get into this right now. So first and foremost, I had a question of an individual who was talking about sending the validation letter to a collector and then some them sending back a statement. And I said, hey, you know, this is the information that they sent back. I've attached it here in this email. Is this enough information? Is this sufficient? Okay. Or should I demand this be removed and or more information? So this isn't enough. The statement isn't enough. You can send your next round of collection validation letters and your collector fails to validate letter to the bureaus with your six and nine dispute letters. But going further with the collection agencies, this individual actually sent in their reports showcasing that the addresses were different on all three bureaus for this one collection. So there was one collection with this collection agency and each bureau had a different address and they were like, hey, you know, who do I send it to? They can't even keep this accurate, okay? And this specific collection has been sold supposedly and transferred. What, who has what? This is exactly it. This is the type of stuff that we're talking about. This is the type of stuff that is not substantiated. This inaccurate, obsolete, outdated, unverified information. You got unverified information on there, unvalidated information, inaccurate information, all of the above, right? On your reports, what do you do? So you can send your inaccurate letters, your inaccurate dispute letters, your six and nine dispute letters, and you can send your collection validation letters to the collectors, letting them know about this situation. You can do some little bit of research and find out which address you may need to send it to, or you can send it to all of the above if necessary, because they're trying to play this game and they're trying not to say who they are and where they are. And you can complain to the CFPB about this and you can show, just like you've shown me here, all the inaccuracies of the collection having multiple addresses. This is not acceptable, this is not okay. They have a standardized reporting across the three bureaus that need to be accurate, 100% accurate, and they need to be able to substantiate that that is in fact this account with that address. Otherwise, this needs to be deleted. This is the type of stuff that we're talking about. This is the type of stuff you can get deleted. 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, right? Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.